The surface of the earth is like a jigsaw puzzle. It is not a single piece of land, but approximately 20 pieces of puzzles that constantly move. You don't feel it because they move quite slowly. Each one of those puzzle pieces are called tectonic plates. Whenever those plates hit, bump, or slide past another plate, an earthquake is caused. It is estimated that there are 500,000 detectable earthquakes in the world each year. 100,000 of these can be felt, and 100 of them cause damage. The magnitude of an earthquake is measured using the Richter scale, which runs from 0 to 10, 10 being the strongest. Every whole number increase in scale means 10 times more ground motion changes. The Tohoku earthquake and tsunami in 2011 registered a magnitude of 9.1. The Nepal earthquake in 2015 registered a magnitude of 7.8. The Fukushima earthquake in 2022 registered a magnitude of 7.4. We can't see earthquake coming, but we can prepare for them. Scientists and engineers have been designing stronger buildings resilient enough to survive a direct hit. So how can buildings be designed to withstand an earthquake? Number 1 Flexible Foundation The building is constructed on top of flexible pads that isolate the foundation from the ground. When an earthquake hits, only the base moves while the structure remains steady. Number 2 Pendulum A large weight moves in a direction opposite to the earthquake's movements to dampen or dissipate the energy. Number 3 Damping Dampers attached to beams use pistons and oil to convert the motion into heat and absorb shock. Number 4 Reinforcing structures. Shear walls and cross braces counteract pressure and push force. Diaphragms distribute forces to the columns and walls. Number 5 Building materials that can change shape without breaking are ideal for withstanding earthquakes. Let's take a look at these towers. What building design was used? I hope you have learned some building designs that can withstand earthquakes. Thanks for watching. Bye.